order to succeed, we need leaders of inspired idealism, leaders to whom are granted great visions, who dream greatly and strive to make their dreams come true, who can kindle the people with the fire from their own burning selves. Former President Theodore Roosevelt, from his 1912 campaign, calling for Americans to lead and strive for social and industrial justice. Now, you think back a century ago to TR's time, and uh, a lot of the issues that are brought to the fore now were discussed back then. Enco income inequality, uh, greed, taxes. And with those themes back in the news today, the question we ask is this. Is it time for another Theodore Roosevelt? For more, let's welcome in via Skype from Bozeman, Montana, author John Kenoki. His new book is entitled Theodore Roosevelt and the Making of American Leadership. Also joining us, Newsmax chief political columnist and White House correspondent John Gizzi. Brother Gizzi comes to us tonight from Newsmax, Washington. We thank you both. Uh, John Kenoki, to, to your book. Uh, it has been said that uh, Theodore Roosevelt combined the conservative with the progressive. You read his life story, it's like a novel, but it's true. Was he a larger in life figure? Was it his persona that added so much to his leadership? Absolutely. And what's really interesting about TR was that he cultivated that persona. And what I tried to do in the book was go back in time to when TR was born, two years be before the Civil War, and watch him grow up in a, a very partisan, very polarized country. And when he got his chance to lead, he was on purpose trying to be a larger-than-life leader and trying to promote these, these big ideas that could take America to the next frontier. Larger than life, and certainly, Brother Gizzy, none of us who go into politics suffer from a shortage of self-esteem. But when you think about politics today and a guy who inserts a larger than life persona, it would be Donald Trump. Now, I'm not comparing Trump to TR. Well, maybe I am. Is, is there any, uh, any parallel there in modern days between a Donald Trump and a Theodore Roosevelt of yesteryear? Certainly, immigration. As John would tell you, Theodore Roosevelt was a hardliner on immigration and at times used language about immigrants and the issue of immigration uh, and the possible danger to jobs of Americans that would make Trump look like an open borders advocate. Uh, in addition, it should be pointed out that T.R. was someone who was almost bellicose by the time of the First World War about U.S. action abroad and saying that Woodrow Wilson had the backbone of a banana split for not being involved sooner. He would make Lindsey Graham look like Rand Paul today. And this is why I always say we could admire T.R. for his persona, admire him for his inspiration and drive, overcoming illness as a child, but remember, all campaigns are different and quadrennially the process and the issues change. And uh, as we look at the here and now, John Kenoki, if, if you think TR could speak to Americans today, what do you think Theodore Roosevelt would say to us? Yes, yeah, so I, I take a little bit of um, um, a challenge with that last comment about TR on immigration. I mean, Theodore Roosevelt really tried to um, embrace the diversity of the country. And if you look back to his father, The Roosevelt, um, who did enormous amount of good for uh, immigrants coming into New York because Theodore Roosevelt was our only president born in New York. You know, it, it, it's really hard to take examples from, to your, your point, J.D., from the turn of the 20th century and pick them up and put them in today. I, 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 you can't speak on behalf of Theodore Roosevelt, but if you look at his life, he spent his entire life trying to bring people together, trying to reach across factions and trying to fight for the, the, the common American. And that was... Uh, the Easterner and the Westerner proving to, to them both that, that just because you live in the West doesn't mean you didn't have the convictions and values of the people that lived in the East. So I think he spent an enormous amount of time trying to unite the country uh, more than trying to uh, bite off factions to win an election. Final 30 seconds to you, Brother Gizzy. Uh, the other thing about TR, from a patrician background, yet having that common touch. 
that served him well, and I guess would serve just about anybody well in public life to have that ability. It certainly did, and remember another thing is that here was someone who did not have to go in the military, but resigned as Assistant Secretary of the Navy to lead the Rough Riders in the Spanish-American War, and then returned to New York to become governor. Uh, he crammed a lot of living in the 42 years before he assumed the presidency. I might add, as America's youngest president. That's right. And he was our youngest president, taking over for William McKinley. Thank you very much for your time. John Kenoki's new book again is Theodore Roosevelt and the Making of American Leadership. We'll be back with more right after this. <laughs>